Hey guys, it's Lizzie, and today I'm going to be doing a video on a figure painting commission that my friend Doug, who's an artist, did for me. So my friend painted the figures that are a part of the River Halls collection. He painted the main figures and he also painted um, some external figures that he made as well. He also made the bases that um, have some power crystals in them. So just a bit of an introduction, my friend Doug has done some labyrinth related work as well. He has made a hoggle cosplay and a goblin cosplay. He's done sculptures and casts. He's made the clock that's in Jarrah's throne room. He's made the worm, the eye moss creatures. You know, he's done a bit of everything and he's absolutely wonderful. So the first figure that my friend worked on was the first outfit that Jareth is seen with within the film is the black long cape and what I love most of all about this outfit is the fact that he's had it these kind of glitter effect and he's also added a rib cage at the back which just looks incredibly brilliant I love the fact that he's gone to that effort to include that he also made me another Jared's figure and he made this by doing a resin cast of my original one and he made the confronting peach Jareth um, and I love the effect that he's done at the back with the jacket to make it look leather like overall I just love the colour scheme that he's done for it the next Jareth that he worked on was the ending Jareth, the confrontation Jareth and um, it's absolutely gorgeous I love the fact that he's made a feather type of effect at the back and it's also added a little cane on the side and I just think overall it just looks really really nice. The next figure is Sarah. Again I love the detail that he's put into the costume work. He's done a really nice job on the effect on the vest. I like the effect of the jeans and how two-toned it looks. It looks really nice shaded. Now the hoggle again one of my favourites. I adore the level of detail that's gone into this. It looks incredible. I love the fact that he's actually included the tongue at the back of the costume and the face which appears on his back. Not a lot of people do that. And for Ludo, um, again, I just love the fact that he's been able to two-tone the figure so it doesn't just look like it's painted one tone, it looks like it's shaded. Now for the Sir Didymus figure, when I received it, I just was completely shocked. The, the, the amount of detail that has gone into this figure is unbelievable. Um, I just love the fact that the cape that Ambrosius has is just incredibly detailed. I love the fact it's accurate as well. I just love how two-toned it looks. It just looks and really works together as a piece overall. Doug also made me a extra figure. He made me a Toby figure and it looks incredibly cute. Toby does not come with the original set. He doesn't come at all with it, but my friend Doug made me it. And it's just a really nice piece to have overall. I love the fact that he's included him on the steps as well um, of the Within You scene. I think it's really adorable. And yeah, I think he's done a really great job with it. So the final piece that Doug made for me was um, the wooden, sections with crystal balls and um, it's a stand that you put your character cards in and I just think overall it really really completes the overall look. So that's it for the collection. I am really thankful that Doug was able to paint me these. For something as small as miniatures it is an incredibly difficult job to do. I think he's done exceptionally well with them. So again I highly recommend that you check out Doug's page I'm going to include his Facebook link down below. He's made some other costumes like Legend um, Darkness inspired costumes. He's done some makeup, he's done some props for people. I'm really pleased with them and overall I definitely, I highly recommend Doug for any type of work that you want in general, whether it's props, whether it's costumes, you know, just anything. Um, let him know about it. 